everyone, I'm Jennifer Valle, and today we will be doing another passage from our Reading Champions program. This passage is geared towards our younger kids, and just like our previous one, there are a couple more steps to the activity. The first step is that you will listen along as I read. The second step is you will complete your spelling quiz. The third step is you will go back to the passage and read along with me. And your last step is to complete your questions. Now parents, the link is attached to the newsletter. So again, feel free to click on the link and have the story up on the screen or print it out to follow along. Now, parents and children, if you can grab a piece of paper, your writing utensil, and let's get to our cozy little spots so we can get started. The title of this passage is The Blimp. Some of the key words to review are cloth, blue, and fly. And what I would like for you to do is on your piece of paper, just write down the first thing that comes to mind when you hear these words. Now the story. What is floating in the blue sky? It is not a plane flying by. It's too slow. It is not a cloud floating past. It's too close. What is floating in the blue sky? It's a blimp. A blimp is an airship. It is a large airbag. It is made of cloth. It is filled with gas. The gas is lighter than air. This gas helps the blimp float. A pilot steers a blimp. To steer, the pilot climbs into a place under the airbag. Blimps were used in World War I. People flew them to see if the enemy was close. Today, blimps fly over ball games. People take pictures of the games from the blimp. Now the questions. Number one, blimps blank in the sky. Is it float, plain, or close? Number two, the pilot climbs into a place under the blimp to blank. Is it plane, cloud, or fly? Number three. A blank is filled with gas. Is it blimp, slow, or blue? Number four. Blimps are large airbags made of blank. Is it clouds, planes, or cloth? Number five, what makes blimps float? And for number six, seven, and eight, you can practice writing some of the words from the word list above. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the passage as much as I did. And now it's time for our spelling quiz. There was eight words chosen from the passage. So remember, try your best to spell them out correctly on your own and then take a peek. Okay, are you ready? Number one, blimp. Number two, floating. Number three, airship. Number four, cloth. Number five, gas. Number six, pilot. Number seven, steers. And number eight, enemy. Good luck guys, try your best. I know you can get them all correct. Also remember to go back and read along with me and then answer your questions. And like always, stay safe, stay home, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.